Charlie, North Carolina. Charlie, North Carolina, come back with the call sign again, please. Hey, come back with the call sign again, please. You got it. We've talked to you several times over the year. Whiskey 4, Fox Trot, Hotel, Charlie, Fred in North Carolina. Over, over. Roger, and uh, what's the uh, name there? Roger, and uh, what's the uh, name there? Well, here's Fred. Freedom rings every day in the United States Air Force, retired. Over, over. Roger, Fred. Now, you sound like you're on a... Um uh, a very uh, mid-rangey microphone, like uh, possibly, uh, oh gosh, um, I'm not, uh, I don't want to mention any names, but uh, have you changed mics from when last we uh, talked? From when last we uh, talked? You know, I'm on the ST-1000 MP Mark V this afternoon, running about 600 watts, and the microphone here is a Hell Classic, and I'm running a Alpha Delta DXCC fan dipole of 36 feet. I have five rigs in line. On the, I got three on this side of the room and uh, two on the other side of the room on eight foot counters. I also have the Kenwood TS 890. I'm on the Mark 5. This rig here I hadn't turned on in a couple of months. I thought I'd run it for a little while this afternoon. Over. Yes, sir. Where well, your audio is very mid-rangey, upper mids only. So uh, what I would like for you to do is uh, first uh, verify that you're in the uh, widest uh, uh, band pass possible, that you're in the 100 to 2900 band pass. Roger? 2900 band pass. Roger? Uh, Roger. Okay, I appreciate that. Yeah, I set this rig up, believe it or not. I know you deal strictly a lot of, lot of radios and, and do a lot of audio suggesting and stuff. I set this radio up 17 years ago. And all I've done since then is turn it on, over. Yes, sir. Well, uh, what we're trying to do is make it sound a little bit better. <laughs> and so uh, if uh, you are, can you verify that you're in, uh, you know, uh, 100 to 2,900 band pass? 100 to 2,900 band pass. Well, I can't verify that. No, I'm on 7.188.00, and I'm in the wide, uh, wide, Range the wide range on the Hal Classic. It has two range ranges, wide and a narrow. Over. On the radio. On the radio. No, on the microphone, it's got a wide range and it's got a mid range on it. There, a narrow, excuse me, a wide range and a narrow range switch on the back of it. Over. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, let's uh, let's start right now. Then um, verify that it's in the wide range because it's very narrow. Uh, I'm hoping that you're in the narrow range and you can flip a switch and sound uh, pretty good. Switch and sound uh, pretty good. I'm sorry, I told you wrong. I hit the switch a while ago, a while ago and I was hooking it up. I hadn't had this mic on in a while. Yeah, right there. I'm in the, I'm in the uh, wide range right here. Over. Yes, yeah, sir. So it's sounding a little bit better now. Uh, do you know where the EQ transmit EQ is on that radio? Transmitted on that radio? No, I sure don't. And by the way, you, you probably know, uh, but this Mark V has a really complicated menu. And you know, I got to push one button and hold this and turn another button. So, like I said, I don't really mess with it there. Uh, but it, is, it does pretty good there. But I had it in the narrow range on the microphone. I'm in the wide range now, which is what I usually use it on. And this is the uh, range I normally talk on in the wide there. Over. Roger, well, you, well, you uh, helped out a great deal by uh, getting that switch into the wide range before it was in the narrow range, and you sounded just uh, like only a two, uh, 2K bandpass and roll off on either side. Now you're at least rolling off somewhere around 500 cycles. A uh, note to you, when you get a chance, uh, what we would like to do is maybe extend the bottom end range of the, your audio transmit. And uh, so when you go, if you uh, would be interested in that, uh, like I said, right now you're rolling off like at 500 cycles so you need to to maybe uh, roll later on down the down the band so you'll have a little fuller audio and uh, so note to self would be when you find the equalization you want to um, uh, get a little more bottom end EQ push uh, maybe a 3 dB uh, and uh, that will help your uh, your total um, audio range extend it out just a little bit otherwise you're just kind of it's like a communications mic up in the top end Roger up in the top end, Roger. I appreciate that. I wrote that down here. Uh, there's another station calling you. I know you have a lot of stations calling you any time you're on the radio, so I won't clear with you. I just want to say hello to you again. I have to talk to you next you know, I guess about a month, so I've been sick. And you have a blessed day, and God bless you. You know, have a good and safe weekend. W4, Fresh Hot Coffee, Fred, North Carolina. United States Air Force, retired, North Carolina. Same here. Roger, Roger, Fred. And just uh, out of uh, information, could you share the uh, radio uh, model again, please? Uh, model again, please. 
Yeah, Fred, if you still got a copy, what radio are you running? Can you come back to me again? Sorry, Fred, if you still got a copy, what radio are you running today? What radio are you running today? You got to keep doubling. Yeah, I'm running the ST-1000 MP Mark V. It's about 17 years old. Over. Yes, sir, Fred. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, you have a real good day, a great afternoon. 73 to you. This is KC9 VKV, the Friday afternoon QSO of like that. If you've got a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.